A brief statement from the town this week about a settlement reached with a Somerville resident and Arlington police in what has been described as a cruel racial profi profiling incident. That town statement was released Monday, February 5th, and involves a federal civil rights lawsuit on behalf of Donovan Johnson, who, according to his lawyers, was illegally stopped and arrested within view of his Somerville home by the Arlington Police Department three years ago. ACMI News Director Jeff Barnd picks up the story from there. It happened here three years ago in the early evening of February 10th, 2021. According to the lawsuit, the Arlington Police Department responded to a call for assistance from Homewood Suites Hotel here in East Arlington regarding a white man known to the hotel and APD for a prior theft. Lawyers for Donovan Johnson, a Mass General Brigham employee and a person of color say as the APD arrived to investigate the white male suspect escaped the hotel and then officers gave chase. At that time, Mr. Johnson was walking home from the nearby CVS, according to the lawsuit, and the white man passed Johnson on the sidewalk. Johnson's attorneys go on to say that, quote, despite the APD's active pursuit of a white man, officers suddenly turned their attention to Mr. Johnson and that they stopped him at gunpoint, forcibly wrestled him to the ground and proceeded with a wrongful arrest and search. Johnson's pleas to contact his mother and request to loosen his handcuffs were apparently ignored and that ultimately APD released him without charges approximately 45 minutes later. Mr. Johnson then sued in federal court, bringing nationwide attention to this particular case. After the February 2021 incident, reports indicate the APD retained the services of an outside licensed private detective to look into the case. The investigation reportedly found no evidence to support a claim of racial profiling or excessive use of force. But Sophia Hall, a deputy litigation director at Lawyers for Civil Rights, had this to say, quote, Effective police reform cannot be spearheaded by law enforcement, absent community input from those most affected by police mistrust and police misconduct. And she adds, police departments cannot police themselves. As a result of the settlement announced this week on Monday, February 5th, the town will now compensate Mr. Johnson and implement several reforms designed to eradicate racial profiling by APD in the future. The major reforms include the following mandating annual in-person training for all sworn APD personnel on implicit bias, de-escalation, and cultural competency, hiring a consultant to analyze and recommend reforms to APD's policy against racial profiling, creating a de-escalation policy in the department, and collecting and publicizing law enforcement data, i.e. arrest, stops, traffic stops by race, on the APD's website. Now, on Monday, February 5th, this statement by the town of Arlington in the names of manager, town manager James Feeney and police chief Julie Flaherty. Quote, we are able to confirm the town of Arlington and Mr. Johnson reached the settlement and mutually agreed to bring this matter to a resolution. Unfortunately, because the settlement agreement is confidential, we are unable to legally comment on its contents. The statement continues. The town of Arlington and its police department remain committed to providing professional, respectful, equitable, and effective services to all. The Arlington Police Department strives to build strong relationships by working directly with residents and community partners to enhance the safety and well-being of the entire community. As an accredited police department, APD continually evaluates its policies and procedures and adopts those that are considered best practices in policing and are in line with 21st century policing. Donovan Johnson, through his attorneys, released this statement. As I put this haunting experience behind me, I hope that both the individual officers and the department learn from the new training and policy developments we have implemented. This is a nightmare that I will live with, but I am proud that my experience will improve police relations with communities of color and raise awareness about police interactions. So it appears as though a three year long case that garnered nationwide attention is closed. For ACMI News, I'm Jeff Barnd. On Wednesday, February 7th, ACMI News contacted town spokeswoman Joan Roman to confirm what is already a matter of public record. She confirms that Donovan Johnson will be receiving $80,000 and the attorneys for civil rights will receive 15000